everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me today on what is probably the lowest mileage 86 Corvette, one owner like this in the world, right? We are looking at a time capsule of, of just perfection, loaded with options. We're gonna take some time and look around it. We're gonna look at all the factory stuff still left on the car. When it comes time to restore these cars, right? All these cars eventually will get restored just like 65 Mustangs and 70s Corvettes. When it comes time to restore these cars, they're going to use this car as the benchmark for it. Decals are in place, correct tires are on it. It is so cool. We're gonna spend a minute. Let's get started, can't wait. All right, so Corvette Yellow Paint's a factory color code. It's a low production figure color code, which makes it even more rare and more valuable. Not to mention this car was driven so sparingly, taken to car shows, covered and in a garage, right? Not just covered and outside, but covered and inside a garage as well. So I like to show the quality of paint. Yellow paint doesn't show up really great under these lights, but you really need to see that the factory paint is still here. There's a tiny, tiny bit of factory orange peel in the paint. Why is that good this time? Because normally it's not good because this says it's factory paint, right? If you were going to get this vehicle judged, right? You would want this to be uh, exactly the way it is. And so when we do that, we like to make sure you can see it's still really, really amazingly shiny and show worthy. All right, so we are ready to look under the hood here, which is a big part of this car. You know, uh, the horsepower of this doesn't seem to be super high. However, these cars are super fast. This was when the whole car changed. You know, 84 was the first year for this big, big change of it. The 84s are cool cars, but the 85s and 86s were much improvement over that. Here we have like history stopped, right? Original decals all in place right here still. Original wires and cables and plugs. All of the things that it would make for a restoration manual is right here for us to look at today. The underhood lighting still works, right? The original style headlights are still in place. Everything is like it was circa 1986, which is pretty amazing. You look inside here and the suspension was uh, leap years ahead of even some of the modern cars that came out at that time. The double wishbones here, the big Goodyear Gator back tires that were built specifically for the Corvette, right? That's what all cool pieces when you think about that. This is a show car. You could have a lot of fun taking it somewhere. Plus the engine still looks amazing. All right, so this car, was it a fast performance car? Yes. Was it also functional? Yes, and here's why it became uh, their best selling Corvette ever, right? This has two tops in it, right? And when the tops aren't back here, there's an enormous amount of storage in here uh, for soft bags. Also, you're not gonna take both tops with you. You're gonna pick which one you want. However, what the cool thing about it is, this tinted top, which was an option, right? This car is loaded with options, but this is an option. But when the colored top is on there, it changes the whole look of the car, right? When the, when the tinted top is on, it looks like it's a convertible. When the colored top is on, it looks like uh, a straight out coupe. Easy to take on and off and super, super functional. And they also made it so when the top is back here, you can still hear the speakers, which is a big deal. The earlier Corvettes, when you put stuff back here, you couldn't hear a thing. All right, so what I love about Corvettes is first off, the styling is great. The exhaust system is nice. It sounds so good rolling down the road. It makes a great rumble. You'd be surprised. This car will break the tires loose in many different gears, right? But what I do love about Corvettes in general is everybody knows, regardless of if this was on there or not, that it's a Corvette. There's no mistaking this for a Camry or a Vega or an Impala, right? Just no, everyone knows that's a Corvette. All right, so this is one of those cars too, which when you get in them, I'm gonna tell you why this is important. Because there are many sports cars that we get in that six foot and above can't fit in. We fit in just fine. And they've made it so that you can fit in a car like this. It comes with tilt wheel, right? And it comes with telescopic steering wheel, okay? So we have lots of room. And then we have these full array of gauges. The gauges on here, I just loved them when they came out. These were so far ahead of time. 6,000 RPM tack, 200 mile an hour speedometer, right? Um, we have the Bose, uh, the Delco sound system in here. We have uh, climate control. We have, you know, power windows and power locks, like a real world luxury car that's also, uh, you know, 160 mile an hour car back in the day, which is pretty effing powerful when you think about it. Beautiful interior still. Why is it beautiful? Because it only has 11,000 miles. It hasn't been out in the sun. It was garaged at home. You know, take it to some car shows. There's a garage, maybe if you took it to work, it was garaged there as well. 
I don't want to say it's flawless because no car, even a new car, is flawless, but this is as close to flawless as you're going to get on a used car. All right, so we close up the video on this. What we believe to be the lowest mileage, one owner, 86 Corvette like it in the world, right? That's a pretty bold statement, and to own something like this is pretty spectacular. This is a show car. You say, Tone, well, what is a show car? Well, a show car is something you could drive to a show just like this and potentially win the whole show. It is a piece of history also, too, that they're going to use, I think, uh, to restore cars in the future. And it's, and it's so much like the way it rolled off the showroom floor. It's pretty cool to find something like this. I'd love for you guys to have it. Anyway, call us, 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this amazing Corvette. And if you would, please don't forget to share the video down below. And uh, if you would like it, that would help as well. And subscribe to the channel. We have stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive. A car that goes fast should be designed to stop fast. These are five of the fastest exotic cars in the world. Which car is faster from zero to 60 and back to zero again? Chevrolet Corvette. It won the test in a remarkable 8.9 seconds. From zero to zero, Corvette is faster. And that's what it takes to be a new world-class champion. Drive today's Chevy. Live today's Chevy.